Well, my friends, do you know that if you speak a little bit Thai in Thailand, as they say, put Thai nit noi, you will save a lot of money in Thailand. How? Then watch today's vlog and see if you should speak Thai in Thailand or not. Good day everyone, good day from Bangkok, Thailand. It's another beautiful afternoon here and today's vlog is about if you speak a little bit Thai in Thailand, you will save a lot of money. I'm gonna give you some tips and I am sure while you are in Thailand, if you use them, you are going to save a lot of money as a tourist in Thailand. So it will be very helpful and interesting vlog. So let us start it right now. Well, my friends, the first place that you might use your Thai talents could be the airport while you are taking the taxi. Imagine you know how to say the address that you are heading in Thai language. That will save a lot and change the game. How? Let me tell you how. Well, here we are at the airport and we want to take a taxi. Now, lots of us have a lot of luggage and prefer the taxis unless we save and take the airport link. But in the case of taking taxi, knowing the address in Thai will save sometimes a lot. So you head to the taxi driver, he will help you with your luggage, a kapung cup will be okay there to say thank you. After that, once you are in the taxi, the first question you might hear, where you want to go. Or maybe in Thai, they say Tinai, so smile and say the address in Thai. For example, you want to say Sukhumvit 15 Street 2 and the hotel name, so say Sukhumvit Sipha, Soy Song, Royal President. And that's it. No argument, no tricks, meter is on and you are on your way to your address. Imagine how many times you can use the same words and address to save money while you are using a taxi in Bangkok, especially when you are out from touristic spots. Walk a little bit, head to the taxi, say Sawadee Cup, the address in Thai and you will pay the right price. Trust me, it seems easy, but it works. Well, before we jump to the second tip of today, I'm gonna tell you that if you are navigating or walking or wandering around in Thailand, wherever you are, especially in the capital city, Bangkok, all the signs and all the roads are labeled by English. So wherever you go, the restaurants, every sign you see is written by Thai language and the second language is English. Of course, in some places that are so local, the signs are in Thai, but you don't need to be there or read what it is written. So no worries, when you are exploring and wandering around in Thailand, especially in the capital city and the touristic destinations, everything is written in Thai and English. And finding addresses in Thailand is so easy. All the streets are numbered and have their unique names. Some names are impossible even to read, but that's okay. Just know the numbers and you will be at the right place. So that's another information along the way. Now let's jump into the second tip and it's about the Thai numbers. Should you study some Thai numbers or not? Well, of course, if you know the numbers in Thai, then you will save a lot of money in Thailand. I'm not telling you that you should know all the numbers, but the necessary ones like from 1 till 10 and maybe 20, 50 and 100. So these numbers, if you know them in Thai, it will be so useful while you are shopping or maybe paying for something like food or any other stuff.
Knowing a couple of numbers from 1 to 10 and the 20s to 100, maybe 500 and 1000 will make a huge difference. So you are out for shopping, buying food, paying for anything and if you ask the vendor in Thai Torai Cup, which means how much, you will get the answer in Thai and most probably the real price. So if the number is one of the numbers you know, then you are lucky. But if the number is out of your dictionary, then smile, open your wallet, pay and you will get the change. But usually the numbers I mentioned are the most ones used in any shopping cases. So take that into consideration, study the basic numbers in Thai and you will use them a lot while you are in Thailand. Well, the third tip of today is that don't talk too much. Keep that in mind. You know only the essential things in Thai, so if they talk, don't talk too much. Just use the essential words like yes or no, chai, my, my ao. These things will save you, but if you are going to talk too much, then you will reveal that you don't speak Thai. If you know a little bit Thai, don't get involved in two conversations. Keep your wise word just when you need to talk. So don't say things you know to open a conversation with locals, cause they will be glad to bomb you with the long Thai sentences which might shock you and give you a headache. And you will wish that you never talk Thai. So be simple, use the words you know when you have to. Unless a smile and kapun kap will do fine. So keep that in mind, if you are in Thailand and if you know a little bit Thai, always try to use the essential words and don't get too much into conversation. Well, another tip that I can give you is that the more you know, the more you save. So always try to improve your Thai language and once you study more, then you will save a lot. Don't worry, you don't have to know it from the first time, just the essential things and of course you start saving while you are doing your vacation in Thailand. Now of course by time and practice and listening or asking others the meaning of the essential word in Thai or maybe learn weekly one word will make your Thai better while you are in the land of smiles. So don't keep saying the same words all the time, learn, improve and be better in saving. Well my friends, the last tip that I will give you is that never ever use bad Thai words. So don't study the bad words, it's not useful in Thailand, you will get into trouble. So stay out of troubles, study the useful words so that you can save money but never ever study the bad words and never try to use them. Now when I say learn Thai or improve yourself, I mean learn the useful words. Many people are excited to learn always the useless bad words. Avoid that in Thailand. And be polite. Don't study things that if you use, you will get into troubles. We are here to help you and make you save time and money. So that's another tip in today's vlog, keep that in mind, it's so important.
So should you speak Thai in Thailand? The answer is Nit Noi, which means a little bit. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned and subscribe for more from Live Love Thailand.